Hi guys, welcome to our tonight's um, everyone goes right. If pause was a bit of a technical thing, really, I couldn't find the part. We're going 13 and 14 instead. Now. Um, welcome. We go, Chris. Hello. <laughs> Don't expect that. Hi, everyone. And we got the 40. Hi, everybody. Hope we have a good show for you tonight. I expected yeah. issue last night as well. Yeah, <laughs> which I was going to wish to try with guys, but um, I can't off find the park because I saw things staff and busy there, and I was just don't know what I've done with it. So we'll do it instead. For now, just do a setting in it. Yeah. That happens. You'll find it eventually. Yeah, I know. It's just annoying. That's good thing is that you can skip thirteen, so it's not too uh, twelve. It's not too bad. Is yeah, it? I description. I've just done it quickly from now. I'll change it after. Yeah, I've changed my one, but uh, well, not description wise. Just doing that. Now. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I'll have to change mine as well. So, do the after stream, guys. So don't worry. Yeah. This is where everything's gone on the weekend. Says so everything just went off. Just forgotten. How is everybody? Good? Yeah, yeah, I'm right, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. You like me for you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so we could do this all night. <laughs> yeah. Shall I do the chat a little bit? There's only a couple. Um, if you want, catch up with that. Take what I just. We got Mark, Mark Mods on both channels, so I only say one of them. So he says, "Evening, Chris, Chris, and everybody, and maybe P40." Right. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. And then we got. Um, oh. And Fleetwood saying, uh, "Good evening, or oh, hope everyone is good, and good luck with your build, Chris." Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's just reminds me of everything. Yeah, I'll probably find it later. Now. There's so much going on this afternoon. Like, it was just. To go to the 12th head. It happens. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Now, something different instead of the engine, anyways, for. Going back to that arm um, and for that back engine part. We've got one more Alex builds. Hi, Chris, and uh, hi, everyone. Yeah, hi, Alex. How are you? Hey, Alex. Hey, Fleetwood so, and Mark Smiles. You are? So, say again, hey, boy. I was just saying hi to uh, everybody on chat. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go on the summer holding off, you can. Yeah, definitely. Well, I need to tomorrow, be nice and warm here. Yeah, yeah, hold them to the forecast, but I don't know, do we? Show we're so organised tonight. Always. You are. <laughs> no, I just want to do things. Time's just gone with it, like. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just change cameras in a sec. Yeah. Oh, good. I need to get the instructions as well. Let me. Yeah. I'll show them now in a sec. Right, we're going to do this in a sec. Let's just uh, wait. We did the conga now. Yeah. I was just doing this start tune in my head as well. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds ago, I was just getting a instruction for tonight, so. Yeah. Two minutes. Right. Wait. Oh, this. That's it. Yeah, we're good. Fine. Put on that. Yeah. So you're working in, working in a fog, Chris, it looks like at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. Let me just share, um, share screen. Oh, yeah, sorry, self guys. Yeah, two seconds. 
Oh, there we are. Right, so if send thirteen first send that thing, so it's doing this. Here we are. Thirteen. Look at this big piece. Ready for a parts check, Chris? Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. Let me just check my bag in a minute to see if there's anything else in there. Um, there's only one type of screw in there. That's it. Yeah. Hey, uh, three parts and three screws. <laughs> oh, three screws won't. We've, we've got to jail for that. <laughs> Are we in that cupboard? Are we go? We can have um, a discussion with what Chris is doing. <laughs> right, so it's only that part then, is it? Here we go. That, that's, that's the big piece. There should be two little parts, two smaller parts. Yeah, which is that one. Uh-huh. It's only one part here, and it's just the screws. Well, there should be another little plastic part. No one. Yeah, let me just check that. What part are we looking for then? Because it's not in there. Uh, part 13C, which is a distributor for the uh, brake system. It's a small part. Very small. It's not there. It's not in the plastic either, so I don't check this a little bit. No, I ain't got it. Hmm. That's confusing, isn't it? In the bag. Have you got the uh, the bag of screws? Yeah, or them. Okay. We've got them, and there's, there's a big plastic bit. We haven't got the small bit. Alex Bild says the, uh, the little plastic part was stuck into the chassis, so you might examine that big chassis piece, see if it's stuck in there someplace. Or missed much? It's a very small part. I can't see it in there. Left side, I can Whereby would it be stuck in there then? It could get stuck in in, in the uh, that frame part. It could be hiding in the in the channel. Hold it up to the screen. We'd probably be able to see it better, Chris. Change. Yeah. Put us full screen, Chris, if you want. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's better. It's very blurry, Chris. You can't really make out of anything. You need to focus better. Yeah, this is a thing that's um, or, um, it's getting there. Alex said it was in a little plastic bag as well. I don't remember whether it came in a bag or not. It's been a while. No, there's, there's only the screws I got, yeah. I was just in one of the bag with screws. Uh, now the focus is good. Right, that way is that way. There's nothing there, is it? There's... I don't see anything on that side. Flip it over. Uh, I don't see it in there either. Maybe you'll have to get one. It's it's not essential for the moment. It could be put on later. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not doing that, is it? Oh, what the hell? So it's not in the screws, Chris, just in case. No, it's not in there. And check the back as well. Double check that. I know it's not in there. Uh, Alex Bild says it was in a little plastic bag. It was? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen that, then. 
Hang on. Yeah, I fell in the floor. Got it. Hey. Oh, great. That's it. Okay. I'm just confusing myself now. Now, let's get on with the parts check then. Yeah. Car part stage 13. In this stage, you will assemble the first part of the frame that underpins the body of your ectomobile. And our first part is part 13A, the front chassis frame. Yeah. Yeah, that big honking piece there. I can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have part 13B, the front chassis frame cover. I know I saw that on your deck. Yeah, that's it. There it is. And then we have part 13C, which was a wall for a while, the distributor in the bag. And then we have a bag of EM screws, two by four millimeter, three yeah. plus one spare. Yeah. All right. Then we're all re ready to go. Yeah, well, we don't. That's better zoomed in a bit more, right? Because scroll down. So we go back to that one. When I find that part, I'll do that next time. It's just there's only two stages, and that's it. There we are. Oh yeah, hang on, Chris. Change. Oh, change the instructions. Yeah. That's yeah. Just, yeah. There we are. That's it. Right. All right. If you're ready, we'll get yeah. started. Step one is attaching the cover. Which Lie the front and chassis frame 13A on your building surface. Then place the front chassis frame cover 13B in the concave section as shown in fig figure A. Secure the parts together using two EM screws as shown in figure B. Yeah. That's like a way to close. That's that way it looks like. There we are. I think they like that. That's it, innit? Right in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, what's well, um that's the two screws, is it? You'll just need two screws to secure that. So it'll be when there and um, there and there, I think. Right. That's right. Yeah. Please run for that. You're going to into metal with the screws, so if you want to use a drop of oil, uh, you could do that. Yeah. So we we'll now. Yeah, of course, it's all less like this. Solid as a rock, that is. Crispy, there's unbeaver tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've been wearing shorts and t-shirt in the water already with his warm. Yeah, I don't think I'd be nice. I don't think I want to do that at work. <laughs> okay, this one. Is it? Oh, you got them both in? Yeah. Okay, step two, fixing the distributor. Place the distributor 
part 13C on the front chassis frame, 13A, so that the screw holes on the two pieces are aligned. Use yeah, no, we go in and then pull it's, it, Yeah, it's, it's going into the left-hand hole right there. Yeah. So I think there's two holes there. Yeah, it is. And you use secure it with an EM screw. So let me guess, one of them's a pin, is it? No, it's not. So, um, no. There, no uh, it's just a screw holding it in. Yeah, there. Right. Yeah. Stage one is the screens. I put one of them away now. So it goes to the front hole, yeah, All right. I think the pipes are get connected to this, don't I? You have to kind of hold that uh, piece in position pretty good. Otherwise, as you put the screw in, it tends to want to turn it. Yeah. Like that, I reckon. Do it my other hand. Even though I'm not right-handed. You're not. You're a lefty? Yeah. So yeah. am I. I will go for three lefties. <laughs> there we are. And there you go. And that's uh, stage 13 build complete. Yeah. And that's why we said 14 as well. <laughs> that yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what we'll come to. Well, there's quite a bit There's quite a bit of work to do for uh, 14, but uh, should be able to do it okay. I think yeah. the most difficult bit will be the, uh, the spring that has to get put in. Oh. Yeah, because you're working on the suspension. Yeah, the suspension spring. If you uh, remember, remember how they were on the bus. That was a pain in it. Yeah. Say no more. Not going to say the words because you're going to scare someone on the side. <laughs> yeah, we got another one pop. Sugar. 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 <laughs> hmm? I said sugar this time. Yeah, so we'll come back to that anyway. Uh, yeah, so 13, 14, I think. Yeah, there Got a joke, Chris, or what? A joke? I want to joke saying that was you. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, Chris, I don't know. Uh, oh, just making sure the bag's empty now. Yeah. But nothing's in there, so it's all the screws out. Yeah, we got uh, several different types of screws this time around. Yeah. Why, why do seagulls fly over the ocean? No idea. Because if they flew over the bay, they call them bagels. <laughs> You've got a tiny part, a tiny part, Chris, that went underneath your frame. Oh yeah, can you let me underneath this? Yeah, that little rubber part there. That goes in there. Yeah. I'll just check out there. Right, we've got that. Right, let me get 14 
Oh, yeah, do the pass check first, then the scroll up, man. That's the only annoying thing about this. You have to scroll up and down a few times and the instructions have been doing different. There we are. Part check. Yeah, we go. Okie doke. Car part stage 14. This stage consists of the first front suspension parts of your model Ecto-1. Yeah. You might want to get a, a, a tray handy to put your parts in, perhaps. Got one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have part 14A, the lower suspension arm, which is uh, to the, on the left-hand side there. Big yeah. part. That's it. So I put that one into the top big one under there. Yeah. And then we have part 14B, the shock absorber shaft, which is just to the left of the spring. That's it. So that's B, is it? That's B. Yeah. Then we have part 14C, which is called uh, a shaft. And I'm not seeing it in, your, in the parts tray at the moment. Come on. That's a bit better. Oh, that's it's right to the left of that one di big disc. This. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Then we have part 14D, the uh, steering knuckle, which is uh, on the far left towards the bottom. No, down. Nope, next one up with the hole in it. There's a hole that, in my bucket. Yeah. That's it. Part 14D, that's the upper steering knuckle connector. Mm -hmm. Then we have part 14E, the lower steering knuckle connector, which is the one that was just below it. Yep. Yeah. Then we have 14F, the upper suspension arm, which is in the middle on the right. Nope, for the right. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. I need that one in there because it's bigger. And uh, then we have 14G, which is the coil spring. Which is up. Yep. That's the one. Uh, 14H is the rubber bumper, which is that tiny part yeah, on there. the left. That's it. Uh huh. 14I is a uh, is mounting brackets. There should be two of them, and they're on your upper right. Those two right there. Yeah. Then we have 14J, which is the steering knuckle, which is that part that's kind of right in the middle. That one's it. Nope. In the middle. That's it. Yeah. Then we have 14K, which is a, a backing plate, which I think is that part. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Yeah. If, that's what I need the bigger parts of there from there, so at least I got. And uh, then we have 14L, which is the brake drum, which is the other round piece. Yeah. This is that one. Yep. Then we have uh, 14M, which is the left tie rod, which is the piece on the lower right. That one. That one right there. Yeah. And then we have 14N, the steering rack, which is the long rod up the top. That's yeah. it. Then we've got a bunch of screws. There's quite a few screws, Jesus. Yeah, I won. We have EM screws, 2 by 4 millimeter, 8 plus 2 spare. Right, yeah, EM just has. Right, let me go through this. Stop on the phone. Got them. Right. And you should have like six different bags of screws all together. Yeah, then there was loads. Mm. Oh, it says I'm on the desk. Yeah, that, that's the EMs. Yeah, the EMs? Okay. Then we have HM screws, two by six millimeter, four plus one spare. Yeah. Who managed to see? Uh huh. Then we have IM screws, 
2.3 by 6 millimeter, 5 plus 2 spare. I am, I think, the last I am. I am. That sh looks like, yeah. Then yeah. we have JM, 2.3 by 7 millimeter, 1 plus 1 spare. That's JM, yeah. Okay. Then we have KM, which are 2.3 2 by, by 6 millimeter, 1 plus 1 spare. Yeah. That's it. Then we have GP, 1.5 by 3 millimeter, 1 plus 1 spare. That's it. Yeah. Then we have HP, so 2 by... Two by four millimeter, three plus one spare. Yeah, here's the sauce, isn't it? Yeah. I prefer red sauce. <laughs> you, you're getting the red, red off. Right, that's all them. Just typed a really bad joke in the comments as well. Uh, I asked my dog, what's minus two? What's two minus two? He said nothing. <laughs> I don't think yeah. There we are. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Step one assembling the lower suspension arm. Yeah. Locate the lower steering knuckle connector 14E and insert it into the gap at the end of the lower suspension arm 14A. Yeah. 14, uh, 14E will be the one that doesn't have the hole going all the way through. Yeah, got it. Got it? And that goes. And those two arms coming off of uh, part 14A should be pointed upwards, or slanting upwards. Well, so I've got the wrong way around, have I? Yeah, turn, it looks like you need to turn it over. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it now, yeah. Okay. And then 14E goes in between those two arms. Yeah. And then you secure that from both sides with uh, a pair of EM screws. Early morning screws. So many. Two of them, don't all them. Shows watching 40 Towers again. Oh, that's a that that's one, one of the best sitcoms that was ever done. Too short, though, wasn't it? Yeah, Wait. I'm also Chris on TV. I am, huh? I'm off to do on TV. Me on TV. <laughs> No, you already knew this. I've been. What? I don't know. I was just seeing things, looking at things. You and Coco, that's well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's that's a favorite job sequel. Go, go, go every time, Chris. It is my job. <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. I bet you. I bet you go to. I bet you turn yourself into a cuckoo clock in the nights. <laughs> Jesus. Getting worse, Chris. Imagine, it, uh, yeah, like like I program it in my pen to aliens. I used to like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it enough to grip. Oh, no, it isn't. It was a penny size enough to bite. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Well, if I'm remembering correctly, I think it's actually uh, threading uh, part 14A rather than 
part 14 E. Yeah. Then it's, that was, it wouldn't be able to hold 14 E in the place otherwise, would it? Yeah, because you're you're putting a screw in from from either side, so. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Alex Bill just put another joke. A bear walks into a bar and says, give me a whiskey and <laughs> cola. He said, why the big pools? He said, ask the better. And the bear shrug said, I'm not, I'm not sure. I was born with them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alex Bill's your man. And what are big Macs in the house tonight? He hasn't, hasn't said anything yet, but... No. He's probably having his Big Mac, that's why. Mm. Big Mac. Me that kind of goes along with the one where uh, a, a priest and a reverend and a rabbit walk into a bar. Huh? And the rabbit says, I don't know why I'm here. I guess I'm just a typo. Oh, a rabbit Christ. rabbit instead yeah. of a rabbi. Oh, <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. Well, it goes along with what we've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a job for you now. Um, woke up this morning, right? And I went and I thought to myself, oh, you look a bit fat. And I thought, why is that then? All the acts of bits I can think of. Like, the <laughs> fridge. What? Don't get you go to the fridge. Oh, no, I didn't get it to us. Oh, I probably said it wrong this way. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah, the blonde goes into Peace to the World, right? And as um goes up to the sales assistant, um, have we got any curtains? I said, oh, what do you mean curtains? What? Um, hello, the piece has got windows. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you get that with you. That's bad. <laughs> well, you get it, yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. Maybe that was this one just needs to screw this up a bit more. Yeah, you can screw them all the way tight because, like I say, I think they 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 actually thread into uh, the uh, the suspension arm and they're just uh, going at, going into the holes in that uh, um, little 14E. Done so far. Uh, your, your, your focus is gone again, Chris. It could be because all these bags be here shouldn't go out of focus. Come on. Is that better? Nope. I don't know what's going on with it tonight. It's just mad. Should be right because the mat should help it. That's what I like about my manual focus on my camera. Yeah. Well, the last time when you took all the parts out of the way, it, it suddenly sprang into focus. But not this time. <laughs> just put it in. Ah, there we are. There we go. Right, that's that then. That's that. Now you need uh, going on to uh, step two. Yeah. Um, or no, we have to finish step one. Uh, then we push the rubber bumper part 14H into place on the lower suspension arm 14A, securing from beneath using one GP screw. So that's that little rubber cone piece. Yeah. I just got to put it We've got a doctor's nose at the GPs. <laughs> mm. Hey. As I, as I remember, it was it was rather it was uh, somewhat difficult to get that screw to go into that little rubber piece. Where's this rubber piece going on? It goes in uh, to the uh, small hole on the left near near the part that uh, you just put in. So. The one it's on the left. Left, yeah. the, one, 
that one right there. This is a whole other brush gift to here, Liza. Good. You're saying that the other day, wouldn't you? Yeah. We need to go to the doctors now to get a GP. God. <laughs> well, that joke, you guys. This me just being mad. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, it kind of goes along with the EM screws. Those are emergency medical. <laughs> yeah. And if you've got NM screws, right? We used to call them in the root masters, not in magazines. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I used to take a mic. I did that. Was, everyone used to take a mic at me now because I, I started that joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's Chris. That's Chris's favorite magazine. So that is. Oi, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you know me to work, Chris, so I need a different screw head for this. A smaller one. Too big. The bigger ones. That's not what she said. <laughs> Are you starting to hear you when there's no you for 40? <laughs> well, somebody had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never oh, heard this one. Never heard this joke. Can February, March? No, but April, May. Never heard that one. I don't get that. Can February, March? No, but April, May. So it's all just saying the same month, month, next month after. I've never heard that one before. I've never heard that myself, and I don't get it. You get P forty. I get it. It's just a. Uh... Another in a long series of bad jokes we've had this evening. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Very clean, guys. <laughs> yeah, they're clean. I'm skipping all the dodgy ones. Why? Well, there's naughty ones on his app. Yeah. Whatever that is, no I'm joking. Well, Dave Bassett just came in and said, uh, "Good evening, good evening, uh, both Chris Davies and World and Chris Davies." And is that P40 you can hear too? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, David Bassett. How are you? I do it. We've got the trouble making nails. Yeah, we've got two or three of those already, haven't we? Well, that's you, Chris, all over. <laughs> I'm going to have to use my fucking hands for this because this is. Just a quick pick there. Let's go to work. I'm using the third hand. All right. Yeah. We go to one, that's what they're saying, um, oh, Ireland, isn't it? Aye. I haven't been to Ireland for ages. Uh, I haven't myself. I've never got a kid. Of, what was it, 2010, I think, right now? Um, or before that, I can't remember. But, found out, talk about the last time I went to Ireland, right, was when I found out my um, brother's ex-partner was pregnant. Yeah. I think you'd be better off uh, using the third hand to hold the uh, the suspension arm, and then okay. so you can grip the uh, the rubber piece in in your fingers. Yeah, yeah. That was that was mad. That was a time when I was just said to never been taken a ferry before. But then we found out that was the reason. I thought shocking that there because they've. Uh, yes. We used to go for island ferry all the time. We used to. Yeah, no, I love it. No, island is a nice place, like some. Because if you go to North Island, that's part of the UK. But if you go to Southern, you use different. Coins. Yeah, most uh, some of my family are in Ireland. It's Northern Ireland, Cork. Yeah, I've been there. Um, no, I haven't been. I've been to Rosslare and I've been to Dublin. I'm going to turn that round that way. So I can see where the screw hole goes. Right. This is awkward to look. Jesus. What is? What? Uh, Dave Bassett just said he's been down to Abidin, Abindon 
to pick up his pick up pick up his son from his workplace. He wrote yeah. off his car going home last week. He finished rebuilding the engine of his Astra VXR yesterday, so he has a car again. Yeah. Aberdeen, I think, is it? Is it Aberdeen? No, it's A B I N G D O N. Abington. 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 Where's that? That's what the UK in there. I think so. Yeah, he hit the back, ran into the back of car transport. Total's his Corsa. Bent just bent a light, bent a tower light bar probably on the uh, uh I guess on the um, yeah, the car transporter, the car. yeah, <laughs> it would be bent a light bar if it was uh bending, uh, <laughs> in the corner, would it? <laughs> no, they're not cheap, but not that expensive, <laughs> yeah. As long as he's all right, that's all that matters, yeah. yeah. Sugar and that must be nice. Now Chris is right, he's got plenty of horses. God. Getting worse, Chris. Uh, that's looks like yeah, you got to really grip that uh, rubber piece hard to get that screw to go in. Yeah, it just seems a bit loose. Let's find a different... No. Nah. Try a different head again. Oof. Now if you squeeze the, uh, the rubber piece between you, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Otherwise, it just wants to twist. Let's do the twist again. I'll do that song. I was about to sing that. <laughs> Last summer, yeah, I know that song. Oh, come on, you. It's an old one. Mm-hmm. Tell you Tom, we can do the cha cha slide. The old cha cha plane slide. How low can you go? Can you reach it to the top? <laughs> God. But that's actually what I done the rope thing like it's quite funny. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Now they've got some for this like. Yeah, that's still, still wobbling. What? Yeah, I remember it being a pain to get the screws in those rubber pieces. Mm. Because you got to do this one more time for the other side. Yeah. Probably got to do three more times then. For the back as well. Or is the back different? No, the back's different. The back's got a leaf spring suspension. Oh, leaf. Oh, yeah. What kind of leaf is that? A maple leaf or? <laughs> God. Still not going in. No, it's leaf fill and spring. Yeah. It's been a pain in the ass. Uh, it's going to be wood. Uh, Jesus. That's loose. It's not even going tight up. I'm trying to be helping out, I think, for that. You got it now? Yeah, it's a little bit loose. Like, I'm trying to put my head on the room a bit now, see if I can hard grip it. Because I'm struggling with it now. Hmm. Be better if you had a pair of pliers. I got some then. Because you could uh, grip the, grip the rubber piece with the pliers. Yeah, I've got some
Oh, shit. Oh, sure. Do not go right today. Now it's just come out. I thought the screw just came out. The screw came out? Yeah. Well, another thing you could do is just uh, use some super glue to put it in. Yeah. that now got now He's bringing up the sack so I can hold this one. Try to screw right now. Waste a few. Um, well, Blade Bassett says Aberdeen is in Oxfordshire. Off the A34 between Oxford and Newbury. It was an MG factory, was located and also home of Moreland Brewery. Both just memories now. Bit of a shame. He said, uh, whilst in his workshop, he stuck my car on the lift to check my rear and near side tyre, found a screw embedded in it, took the oh. tyre off the wheel, removed the screw, and plugged the hole. Nice of him. He used to do that for a living. Uh, Alex says, Alex Build says, Chris, you should be a master at gripping steel things. That's a bit strange. Oh. What's that about? Um, David Bassett, uh, the Ecto one is a massive mammoth beast. How heavy yeah. will it be when it's finished? Yeah. And he said, Root Master is about approximately 26 kilos. I think it's less than that. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ecto weighed that much or yeah. perhaps even more. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Alex says, this, he remembers this part was difficult as well. Yeah. And small as well. But how the... Did this, is this room supposed to be tight in there? It's gone in, but it's not, it's not tight. Unless you... Well, it's not, it's, it. it's, it's not going to come under any kind of load or anything, so I wouldn't worry about it, Chris. Yeah. If it annoys you too much, you could put a little bit of glue to stick in place, maybe. Yeah, if, it, if it's, if it's uh, basically held in place, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah it's, it's swamp. Yeah, I just even got there. What is this part for, anyway? What does it actually do? Well, what it actually was for was uh, to limit the travel of the front suspension of the car, and it was made out of rubber so that it would uh, it wouldn't be a sudden shock when 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 uh, it hit up against the upper part of the suspension. It would just be a, a more of a soft stop. Yeah. So basically, enough of parts, another uh, like a what a like a suspension arm near enough again. Uh, another suspension, like a spring almost. But so you've got to do this one as well, are we? Hmm? Room to tool then. No, there's no more rubber bits, I don't think, is there, so. No, so for you, you need the rubber piece for you. Really? Well, well if, you're, if you're ready, we can move on to step two then. Yeah. Okay, step two, constructing the upper suspension arm. 
slot the upper steering knuckle connector 14D into the narrow end of the upper suspension arm 14F, secure with two EM screws. So it's going to go together just like uh, just like what we did in step one. Yeah, like this one. Come on. That's it. Yeah, look at that, is it? And what screws do we need? EMs. You need two EM screws. Yeah. That tools them. For a pint now, shall we? Hmm. Let me get a pint or two. Uh, you need one. Or six, that's right. Uh, you need 69 pints. Favourite number. <laughs> 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 I knew that was coming. Because I said it, and then uh, I started that one. I just finished it. <laughs> Jesus. You met all Chris. I think all Chris is. Dave says you could put a bit of uh, screw in the oil, oil to help out a little bit. But... So far, I don't need it. I gave up using oil on it myself. I found that uh, it wasn't too bad getting the, the screws in, to tap into the metal. Yeah. And then you didn't have to worry about uh, any staining from the oil. No, not like um, one person uses it all the time. Oh, shit. Oil for this, oil for that. God, what else does he use oil for? Don't know. I wouldn't like to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't know if it helps, it helps, yeah, but... Probably doesn't. It probably just, um, probably does, yeah, but... I thought it was a bit more difficult getting the screws in the metal on the root master. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And there's back click, which is this thing. Okay, it's next. Uh, no, it's not. I think it's that part. It yes, is. That, that is the part. Uh, yeah. Next, slot the shaft 14C into the wider end of the upper suspension arm 14F, as shown in figure B. This is also fixed using two EM screws. Yeah. Any more uh, screws? There's a right way up and a wrong way up for this part, Chris. Yeah, just looking at the picture as well, which is that way. I, I, you're out of frame for Yeah, that's it. With that yeah. little boss sticking up, that's it. Yeah, it's looking at the photos here. So two EM screws. Yeah. Uh, why do that? Give me a couple more comments. Um, Mark Mod said he's having a nightmare at the moment. He deleted an important folder off his computer last night, and he's trying to recover it with not much luck. He... Um, right. If he deleted it off, if it's in recycle bin, is there? Yeah. That's what Alex said in the minute as I said. He has Alex said also he hasn't used oil in bought in this build at all. No. And then told Mark it's in the recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> and then Dave Bashes says, I'll crumb smart mods, it's that's not good. No. If you've got your computer backed up, Mark, if it's if it's like a um like a proper Doc, uh, proper proper file on a computer that's supposed to be there. It might be in the backup, if anything, as well. And it'd be in the recycle bin. If it's gone to it, it's Again, it could be like a load of like files, like photos or videos he could be talking about, too. Yeah. Then, then, you're you're, <laughs> then, you're, then what we do when you're screwed? Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, Mark says he's not in the recycle bin. Hmm. Okay. Don't know where it is then. Probably usually, in. usually if usually if you do delete things, it goes into a recycle bin, doesn't it? So well, it's, yes, unless it's deleted from there as well. Yeah. If you All have any, sometimes the files are too big and they don't go to the recycle bin. That's might have been a problem then. Yeah. I did a similar thing where I was doing the R2 build. I think it was like a early on in the build. I did. I filmed it all on my iPad. I edited it all together, pushed it all uh -huh. together, put it together, and ran out of room. I deleted, deleting every video oh, to make room. <laughs> shit. Excuse me, French saying crazy. Change Chris's name to Christine, that will do. That'd be your name, Chris. Come on, get it right. <laughs> what do you want? I think you need to back your screws out. Yeah, they would. They just fell off. If anyone noticed, put LRL on the comments. What? Not just what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's nothing to do with the build, it's just funny. Well, what have you done? Let's see if you notice it in a bit. Written something with you. Yeah, it's not funny. Well, if it's from all over our, our um, things, it's only be the I know, it's funny, don't worry, Chris, it's, it's a laugh. <laughs> I know what it is, yeah, but if it said if you probably see it three times then. I'll just link it to our, uh... Oh, no, no, I'm not putting anything in comments. Oh. I thought you were done then. I don't know if anyone's noticed it either. So. Uh, if you're not on screen here, so I wouldn't notice. What do you think about? Hmm? Change my name of you. Have you just noticed? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 this is, no, that's why I just... I didn't notice, no, because I can't... I'm not looking at the screen, but I could see something longer. <laughs> what do you I just thought I'd laugh, because you say back, call my name Christine, so I thought I'd change it. 
much. <laughs> Coming up. Your your helping hands might give you a a, a little uh, yeah this won't stop. to keep things lined up for you, Chris. Yeah, this might won't back out the screw a little bit and put it in. Sometimes that helps with self tapping, yeah. doesn't it? Well, he's got the the two arms uh, tapped already, but he's got to keep it lined up so the screw will go straight into the hole of the uh, the arm piece. Yeah, they didn't design that bit very well, did they? No, not. It's not going to hold. Yeah, if we try backing it out a little bit, Chris, and try it again, put it in a bit. Well, so that helps sometimes. Yeah, the hole's gone too big, that's what it is. Uh. Screw that one all the way in that you've got in the hole already. Yeah. Screw it all the way in, then it won't fall off. Oh, this one's going nice. Well, you've already tapped through the arm. It's only actually, t it's not tapping into the, uh, 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 to the, the shaft. It's actually, yeah, uh, but this tap is, um, tapping it. See? It's the left one, it is. I can't see what you're talking about, Chris. I know what's happening out of the way. Is this one you see? What about it? That's loose. It looks like that could fall off, but it's well, it should be loose because those that that uh, that shaft needs to rotate. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see what we don't know, yeah. Looks like you got it. It's on the fast enough, right? Look, I don't know. It's right there. It's next. Okay, we move on to step three, fitting the arms to the frame. So you need to bring the frame from step 13 back in. Which is yours? Stage 13. Yeah. Uh-huh. And... Uh, Place the upper suspension arm 14F, which is the one you just worked on, on yeah. the front chassis frame 13A, so the two pegs on the shaft 14C go into the slots in frame figure A, then turn this over and secure using two HM screws. So it's there, is it? You want to uh, rotate uh, the uh, the frame piece around, yeah, like that. Okay, then uh, by the uh, one large hole towards the right there. Yeah, sir. I I can't see it. It's uh, hiding under the instructions. No, the the upper one, not the lower one. Yeah, that one. And you've got two. Small recesses either side of that big hole, and that's where those two pegs go in. No, 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 right over the hole. Oh, yeah, got the two recesses. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now you, you turn it over and you secure it together with two HM screws. Oh, High and mighty screws. Okay. Or He-Man screws. Yeah. Do, do, do. Did the Congo film, Chris? Mm. Your obsession with Congo at the moment, Chris. Yeah. It's not awful. <laughs> 
So it's not my fault at all. Yeah, it is. Okay, back in a sec. We used to have a we used to have a badgie in our old house that used to copy the alarm. So every time you press the button for the alarm, it cop it be it beeps. So every time the alarm beeps, the bird would beep. <laughs> <laughs> so so hours were fun just pressing the button and it copying it every time. <laughs> Poor little thing. Friend of mine used to uh, to raise a, a bunch of budgies had like 900 of them Damn. and uh yeah. there was one that uh perfectly imitated the sound of a uh, ambulance siren <laughs> she could never find out which one it was because she wanted to pop its little head off <laughs> was it my dad used to um used to do repping for a business for tall business he's go around selling stuff and all that and he was driving along a hot day and a bird flew into his into his car and said, "Up the Amers." Uh-huh. And so he did the window up again and just like, "You're coming home with me." Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. We had that bird for a few years. We did. Cool. It's just to take the fat. Nice and tight, that's why we like it. Yeah, tight nose down good. Yeah. Let me hold it slow tight so I can. No wonder resistance kicks in. Resistance is futile. That's you, Chris. With references I'm doing today. Isn't it? No, actually, resistance is something like volts divided by amperage, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen. Yeah. Okay, got him? Yeah. Okay. Next bit. Lay the lower suspension arm 14A on the front chassis frame, as shown in figure C. Then place the two mounting brackets 14I, so the cylindrical bar of the suspension arm is clamped to the chassis frame. Fix each mounting bracket with two IM screws, figure D. That way, then is it? You got uh, you're on it. There we go. That's it. Is that right? Have you got it right way up? Or have you got it wrong way yeah. up? Yeah. Uh, something, right, something doesn't look right, Chris. Mm. I think you've got. Oh, no, that needs to go further down. Right. Right. Because there should be a couple of uh, uh, U-shapes that that uh, crossbar fits into. Yeah, but that. More towards, more towards the uh, further in. I think you've got it upside down, I think. That's why. Oh, of course. Oh, there we are. Yeah. That's them. <laughs> That's it. That makes more sense now. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got that piece in your hand the right way up. It goes, it, see the there, middle of it. Keep going. Keep going. It'll sl- it nope. in a little valley, It'll little valley in the middle. Back, back down. It's There's two troughs there. Can you see those between the screw holes? Down there. Further up. A little yeah, further. A Just a smidge more. A smidge more up. It's like a little trough it goes into, Chris. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, perfect. And then uh, those two parts, uh, 14i, go over the top. Yeah. Yeah. 
What screws do these have in with? Uh, these go in with uh, IM screws. Four times, is it? Four times, yeah. I am Iron Man. Oh. Bad, that one. It's a bit of a stretch, that one. It depends what you're stretching out. Just rewatched um, Endgame. Not looking for the AMs now. Three and a half hour film, still being worth it though. Two plopped over. <laughs> now we've got four. Christine, uh, that's you, Chris. <laughs> I'll have to be going in a bit, leaving you two alone for a while. You slacking again, Neil? Uh, getting ready for work tomorrow. For, uh, getting ready to get to bed for work tomorrow. You would have no dinner tonight, then? No, I had dinner before I came on stream. No, you're not allowed to. You, you read the book, so you've got to go to bed, really. <laughs> Oh, your focus is gone again. We, we're getting a very good view of your hair. I know mine just needs it so long, like. You know, Chris, could you could you take and move the uh, the camera instead of aiming straight down, put it towards the front and aiming back towards you? Yeah, one. Well, look on. That's better. There we go. Fudge. Make sure you get it in those the, the troughs right because you've got two really thin bits of that uh, crossbar that need to be in those slots. Yeah, there. Yeah. Ah, oh, you sponge. This is not easy at all, this bit. What, what, one thing that, that you might want to do that would really help would be just take the parts off and just take the screws and tap out the holes. Oh, I'll tell you what I might do. Put, you know the cross some bars? I'll put the, the brackets in first enough to bite. Then plug that in after. No, drive your screws in all the way now. That gets your holes tapped. Yeah. So it might be the wrong head, I think. Yeah, run the screw down as far as it'll go, then your hole will be tapped. It'll make it easier to put the parts on then. That's far enough. Do this one now. Right. 
One in. There you go. Now you can run your screws in. Popped off a little, sorry. Right, that one enough to grip. And with this one. That's the level one. Let's get the level bracket in as well now. So then at least they hold it in place properly then. This one wobble off then. enough to grip. Make sure them screws are tight now in a minute once I've got this one in. Okay, okay. Huh? squeaky noise when you put in the mean the metal though, isn't it? Oh, I think his frame piece is bouncing up and down. Oh yeah. I just meant like it was squeaking for that reason reason. I thought it was you Chris. Nah. Definitely not. Try the different Going for the kebab, you, Chris. God. That's better. That's just head. That's right. That's one in. I had the wrong head, that's why it wasn't going in properly. That's two in. Whoops. Dave Bassett says, keep going, Chris. Davies World, you're getting there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now that you got them all tightened up. Except for one new so. Okay, then check to see that the uh, the arm moves freely after you do. Yeah. God, there's all that done a gym workout, this is. Well, it sounds like some kind of workout with all that squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> no comments, not even going to mention that. Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Okay. Now you can put the frame to one side. We're going to work on the uh, the brake disc. Yeah. Chris's disc for his back. You can also rectify it right. now. Okay. Actually, it's weird. I'll just have to say something here. In the instructions online, that goes from stage three to six. It's missing four or five. So it is. Well, yeah. I just noticed that myself. I was always said break disc. We said break disc. I was like, what break disc? It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do this one. Well, you. That's all right. We'll, Pete we'll thought we could help you with that, Chris. So it's not too much of a problem. No, okay. We're not realizing. Okay, assembling the brake drum. Push the center of the steering knuckle, part 14J, through the middle of the backing plate, 14K. Which is the knuckle, which is this big part. This, it's that part, that's it. Yeah. And you push it through the hole. That was a pin as well. 
think there's a little keeping pins there. Um, I know you're going to be putting a couple of screws into it. There may be a, a, a pin. I'm not sh sure. Is it that way? Uh, that looks looks right. Um, because now I can't see anything because I didn't. So the, there's there's the 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 two screw lugs on the 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 metal piece that should line up with the holes on the on the disc, so you can put screws in them. There we go. Okay, and that's fastened together with the uh, two EM screws. Yeah, EMs for. God, it's all EMs tonight. And I got the tool up as well. That's. Yeah, that's looking right. <laughs> oh, it's really designed. Again, what you could do is is take those two pieces apart and just tap the holes in the the metal piece before you put it together. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking I got the wrong head on. Yeah, because you changed heads to get those IM screws in. Yeah. That's the thing that all you can change as many heads as you want. I cut my name change a lot now. And not too tight because you don't want to squash that plastic piece. No, there's not enough yet to one of the screws. Yeah, that's it. Got it. Yeah. Move it to the right a little bit, Chris. Yeah, there you go. Now, take the brake drum on and put it on top of the backing plate on the side you have just driven the screws through. These parts are fixed together using three HP screws. Like that. Like that exactly. Yeah. You want the P's, HP's now, boy? HP. Hewlett Packard. Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got that down there. I want the printer down there for that. That's not that one to get. Look at the P's. Well, the HP's then. Ah, uh, come on. That's KM. No, I am. Look at them screws gone. Come on. I found the screws now. You lost your screws? Hang on. Got them. Okay.
And we've got enough screws as well out of the pack. Chris, you're going to want to rotate that brake disc anti-clockwise about 90 degrees. That is it. So it's up like that. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Lay it down on the table, Chris. No, you need to rotate anti-clockwise, just the brake disc. So the bit behind it. Nope, uh, 180 degrees now. So that triangular shape is up. You got that triangular shape on it with that, that that little cylinder. Can you see that on the face of the disc? Yeah. That should be rotated up. That way. Further, like that. Yeah. Make sure the screw holes are lined up. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so I'm just fearing off. Right. Yeah, my name needs to change into that. Yeah. Hmm. See you later. See you to later, yeah, and see everyone later, yeah. Yeah, no worries. See you later. See you Saturday, probably, yeah. 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 I'll see you then, Chris. I'll see you before he's well. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah, I should change my name back now. I'll do that after. I think you're going to be stuck being Christine Davies for the rest of the session. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. <laughs> You might need to change your, your head again, you know? Yeah. Put that one in, then I have to bite for a bit and screw it down. Yeah, it looks like you're putting it on the right way. Looks right, does it? It looks right. I did not, must have not um, scanned this page in. Whoops. So many pages that do once, and then. Yeah, the steps four and five are on the same page. Yeah. Must have missed it out by mistake. On the when I done the scan. Never mind. I'll have to rectify that. Win if this one is not in properly yet. Let's do it tell it there we are resistance stops. One more screw and that's it. Yep. Although considering it's just two simple plastic parts you're putting together, two screws probably would have been enough. <laughs> yeah. So I think that they got today. That's it. That's it. Okay, now you need to bring the frame back in and get yourself a JM screw. So we're working on this bit now, are we? Nope. Well, yeah, sort of. Uh, we're still on step four. What uh, we're going to do is, is attach the parts you just put together to one of the suspension arms on the frame. Yeah, which is the left frame, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, got it, yeah. Uh, flip the whole thing over. Yeah, it's going to attach to that frame that's in the, that uh, suspension piece in your left hand. Yeah. With the JM screw. Yeah, 
Yeah, JM. It's one, one. It's only one, is it? Just one. It's going to attach to that uh, flappy bit on the end of the suspension arm. What a long screw that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least we're doing something tonight, anyway. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we can do the. We're like, not doing the one we were supposed to, but we can still carry on with this, so that was good. Yeah, I'll look for that part for next week for, for next time or so. I could have sworn you. I could have sworn you had that handy last last time. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as I've um, when I've um, changed the desk room, so it's, um, I'll put it somewhere because we'll, it's late running today, so I just forgot all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's going on there, is it? No, that little piece that flips up and down. Oh, yeah. Like, on like, the like, very end? Yeah. Yeah. How do we go through that goes on now? There's a, there's a hole on part, on part 14J that goes over the top of that flappy bit. There, is it? Ah, uh, it's supposed to go on top of the flappy bit that's on the suspension arm. Yeah, so that is it. Yeah, it's yeah, just like that. Yeah, so so that. Um, yeah. So this will probably be somewhat difficult to hold again. Yeah. So if I can get it through there first. Right. Put the screw for the hole. And line that up. All right. Know that, uh, Chris? What? Oh. No, you got it right. Oh, my mistake. You've got it right. It's holding it now, but it's not fully tight yet. Okay. Well, again, this is something where that uh, that brake just needs to. Uh, be able to pivot anyways. So look out then. There we are. Like that. Mm hmm Yeah. Now we get to the hard bit. Oh, the spring. The spring. You want to flip that uh, flip that uh, suspension arm up and out of the way. No, turn it back over. Uh, yeah, okay. Ah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, right. The part yeah. Is and you've got the suspension arm flipped out of the way, and now the spring goes down in that, that packet. Yeah. And where's this going to attach to? Okay. And then what you want to do is push the, the suspension arm back into place. You will feel resistance from the spring as you do so. Yeah. Yeah. What screw are we screwing it in with? Uh, we're going to be using uh, an IM screw. Let us get it ready then. IM. Got it long. And, yeah, we've got one. Okay. I'm going to flip, I'm you, flip. Want, you want to flip the entire frame over. And now. Okay, and now you're going to be putting in the, uh, turn the assembly over and fix the upper steering knuckle connector 14D to the steering knuckle 14J using an IM screw. Yeah. So you've got another flappy bit on that lower suspension arm. Yeah. And that, this time it goes over the top of uh, oh, yeah. the uh, steering knuckle. 
How are you? Whoops. It's uh, kind of difficult to do because you got the spring that's uh, kind of messing you up. Don't do that move. Don't do that move. Ah. How are you? Have you got a clamp? Got it. Oh, you got it? Great. I've done it. I just need to tighten it now. Yeah, just tighten it up. Yeah. And then make sure that the uh, that thing still pivots. It does, yeah. There we are. Okie dokie. This will hold the spring in place. Finally, turn the assembly over again yeah, and on. take the shock absorber 14B. Insert it into the hole in the chassis and through the coil spring that you have just fitted. This is kept in place with an HM screw fitted from the underside. We need this bit. That bit there, yeah. So the end with the hole in it goes yep. down through the large hole where the, the spring is at. Like that. Uh, your focus is gone again. Hang on, sorry, guys. Hang on. Go with the light in the it's... Right. So the end with the hole is now down. Yeah. Now, from the other side, you're going to screw an HM screw into the shock absorber. <coughs> That's all you got to do. You flip the whole thing over. Yeah, also done. And I can't see what, where you're at. And then you've got that 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 other uh, rod that uh, that's on the wide end of that suspension on the left side needs to be flipped over the top of the uh, shock absorber. Which one you want to go where? There, there's, uh, you've got small flappy bit on the right. There's a larger one on the left. Well, that goes down there then. Where does this connect to? It, it goes over the top of the shock absorber that you just put through the hole in the bottom. Yeah. And then you put a HM screw through it. No, we. That that flappy bit on the left, you need to flop over the top of the of the shock absorber. What put, you... put put it down on the table, Chris, and move it up a bit. Okay. You see the big hole where the spr where the spring is in, right? Yeah. There's there's a rod right below it. That's it. Fold, flip that up. No, if, ne if necessary, loosen up the two screws on either end. What do you mean? That no. doesn't flip up, that doesn't. That piece right there rotates. There's no way to rotate it because it's screwed in, isn't it? Loosen the screws just a touch. I'm confused now because that does not. Look at what screws only did look soon. They can't do it now because it's unattached, isn't it? Oh, no, you've got to take a spring up probably for this. Uh, no. Put it back down on the table, Chris. I can fix it. Yeah. That piece should be able to rotate, if I'm remembering correctly. No, it doesn't because uh, it's screwed in, isn't it? Screwed in from the bread. Uh, no, that piece is only screwed in on the two ends. Take those two screws screws out from the two ends. That is screwed in from there as well, it is. Uh, it shouldn't be. But that's what we've done, yeah, that's what you... No, we didn't do anything with that. Take the two screws out from either end. Okay, let's try that then. And then the piece should just come right out.
springs this on. It's not going to turn out something up. Take both of those screws out. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Down one. And then that piece should just come right off. Yeah, it is screwed in. It's screwed into the frame. Shouldn't be. I don't remember doing that. Let me look back here. Yeah, but there, look. You know what? Screwed in, but there, look. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's turned around the wrong way. You'll have to take those screws out and turn that thing around. I'm sorry, Chris. So I have to do that suspension again now. Yeah. I missed that the, 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 that was round the wrong way. That's the way I was looking at the pictures of the magazine, and that's the way it showed. No, because that center hole that runs through it uh, attaches to the uh, the shock absorber we were just trying to put in. So that should be over that big hole. So that needs to go. That needs to go down. Um, I'm to think which way this is going to go in now. Okay, put put it on. That way, is it? Facing that towards. way. That way. Yeah, that's it exactly. So that that's the screw hole for the for the shock absorber. Right. A few steps forward. Now a few steps back. All right. One of the long ones in it, I can't think. What screw would you use for this? HMs in it? Uh, for that, uh, yeah, I got the long screw. Yeah. Those were, uh, oh, dog on it. HMs. Yeah. Yes, HMs. Wait, I've got to get that spring, which is found it. Right. Now I've got to try to line that back up now. Shit. Uh. Yeah. I can put the spring in first. It's a second to grip into. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Snapped off. Oh, don't tell me. I'll just look. Look now. Alright. Right. Did you put the spring back in? Yeah. Yeah, because now it's got a firing is up here now. Yeah, the screw just dropped on the floor. What screw did you have? EMs for this one, that's what I'm trying to think. Yeah, those were e <coughs> excuse me, EM screws. Yeah, I was. You should have plenty of spares even if you dropped one. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I That's fine, I did drop on the floor though. Uh, this is all the door now. Oh, you yeah. freaks. It might be easier if you took the uh, if you took the uh, oh, what screw is it? 
That was far and took the I took the IM screw out. Yeah, I, I got it lined up anyway. From there. You got it lined up? Okay. I did, yeah. That's all right. I'm quickly drop it down because it's like. Got to go backwards instead. Oh, no. That's it's actually come off. Uh oh. Oh, no. I can't see see what you're looking at, Chris. Did did something break? I think it has. I can't see, Chris. I can't I can't see if anything's broken, Chris. Yeah, that has come off. That came off and screwed on the other side. The disc has come off. Yeah, I can see that's come off, but I, I can't see if the... Uh, there's no point in putting that back on if, if something's broken. We need to see what's broken, Chris. Yeah. The... Yeah, it's broken up here. From move the... it up. Move it up a bit, Chris. Yeah, it's come off of that. Yes, it has. Looks like the screw stripped right out of it. I'm sorry, Chris. I messed you up. So that's just that's just not going to count any more than come on. Or come on. If the screw's not going to hold in it, uh, that flappy piece anymore, no, it's, there's no point in going on. I'm sorry, Chris. Try it and see what we can. I don't know. Yeah, there's a bugger. Try it now. So it may be all right, hopefully. See if I can get this bit in lined up first. I don't have to line up for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try again now. That's holding it. Oh, Jesus. Let's back on. Back on in there, just needs to look up now this bit. Which is top it there. I can't see, Chris. You're too far down. I 
think I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Things have gone wrong tonight. Yep, a bit. Yeah. I messed you up. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't see you had that part backwards. I was looking at the magazine, so I was looking at what was showing. Need to flip him that way. That's the way we need to go. Yeah, that's it because that uh, that yeah. steering knuckle should face towards the back of the car, and it does now. Yeah. We do right now. In a minute. Hopefully, I can get that. Whoops. Oh, just a minute now. Get both screws back in? Lily. I need to put the spring in first. Can't get it be in the drum now. Oh, you. Oh, it's not going right now. I am supposed to go in there. So it's better. Shit. 
Should be right now. Are you trying to get the spring back in its pocket? It's in, but I just need to try and get the screw all lined up. Get the this one. What might make it easier <clears throat> would be to take the the IM screw out of the 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 uh, the bottom one because uh, to get the brake disc totally off. Yeah, because you're trying to put it essentially put it together in reverse, and I, it may not work that way. Yeah. And then try reattaching the brake disc to the uh, to the other A arm where it kind of broke off, and that was done with a, a J M screw, which is a little bit longer than an I M. Yeah. Or the bottom one was. Mm-hmm. Put that one on the end for the bottom. Let's put this IM first in. No, you you need a JM for that for the you want to attach the yeah. the brake disc to the 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 upper or well actually I yeah. guess that's a lower uh, yeah, yeah, suspension. Got yeah, got the screw here. Yeah, I know. I Oh, yes, buttons. chat with Cross up and chat now in a bit. I'll take a look. I can't really see what you're doing anyhow at this moment. Yeah, I was, I was trying, to, trying to sort out myself. Yeah, if I lift that up. There we go. Uh, we've got a couple from Bex at Lit. Hi, Chris. How is everyone? Yeah, hi, Bex at Lit. How are you? Sorry. And another one from uh, Bex at Lit. Uh, how's the Ecto one coming along? Well, right yeah. now <laughs> we've taken a few steps backwards. <laughs> yeah. And John's model making evening all. Yeah, hi John. Yeah, this one I see what I'm doing here, see. Right, that's in to grab from there. Did it seem like the screw went back in okay? Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you you run it in as far as you can. Yeah. Without without making the uh, making it so tight that you that that brake just can't pivot because that's your steering. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. 
was gripping, but then it's just come up. Yeah, that hole's got to be stripped then. Don't know. Probably just the way I put it in, it's all right. There we go. Remember that bit on the brake disc this time needs to go over the top of that floppy bit. Yeah, it is. Okay. I've got resistance done. I think. Okay, now the spring goes back in. Yeah. Stuck a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Flipping it up. And hopefully you flip it over and put the IM screw on the other side. That's the design for the spring though. That's just supposed to do that. If that hole is stripped, uh, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a problem. No, the, the no, this one's right. It's just the spring sounds a bit awful. Oh, okay. Let me go into the way I had it. Oh, come on, you SpongeBob. <laughs> Better sing swear words, that is. Oh, Jesus, this is odd. Got my hand in the way at the minute because I was trying to hold that in. Yeah, if you had a clamp, you could kind of have the clamp do the, do the work for you. Yeah. That's all right, I'll get a, I don't test fate, I don't let, I don't let, don't let nothing beat me, see. How come on, your sausage get in? There we are. Take that screw now. Oof. Okay. Now you can put the shock absorber back in. Yeah, well, then a second. That feels right now. There. I'm get the pole dance now. <laughs> Need to flip that back over so you can put the shock absorber in. Yeah. That's going to be pushed in more, isn't it, this spring? And then from the other side, you put in an HM screw. It's not long enough, though. Doesn't it seem long enough there? You might have to squish it some more. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Not the best task, is it? Nope, it isn't. That's the worst part about the these uh, car models is doing the front suspension. Yeah. But it still wasn't as bad as the ones on the bus. <sighs> the front one, yeah, that was a pain in 
That, that that was a really strong springs on the front of that. Yeah. So then put this that side. Half to zero, but. An HM screw, right? And that'll finish up step five. And I would suggest at this point that we stop because uh, step six is starting to assemble the steering rack, but I'd say hold off on doing that until after you've done stage 15. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, in stage 15, we do these, we do what you've just finished doing on the other side. Off again, it's pivoted off. I snapped. Are you supposed to? No, the other top screws come off. Yeah, you got another screw that's stripped out. Oh dear, yeah, it might be all right now. It's nice getting this shock or something. Okay, let this in first, I think. Put this, put us back in now. Are you trying to get the shock absorber screwed in? Yeah, do that first, I think. Yeah. Then I put this um, spring back on now. The other part. Mm -hmm. I take the glass off a sec. It's easier. I do it sometimes. See, take the glass off. It's easier. Mm-hmm. Instead, oh, say not we would now. Don't mind him. Oh, he chums go to the shop room. Oh, sorry, quiet. Is it engaging? Yeah. Oh, good. That's a sweat. About to then, but I thought no. Got it. Socket's always in. So, what I'm going to have to do is try and get that screw into the brake disc again now. Yeah. It held, but I think. And that was a. That was a JM screw. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's still got the screw there. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do first of all, and put the shockers over in first. Mm-hmm. That feels loose, that does. It does not feel as tight. No, oh, that was a fridge to get in. Oh. Oh, here we go. Lucky it has not broke the thread. There we are. Oh. Jeez, Zers. Well, you made it in the end, <laughs> in spite of a couple of mishaps. Felix like swearing by a better knock because um, don't get people offended. Ugh. Good work, Chris. Jesus Christ, that was hard. So what I'm going to do for next time, put the spring in, put the shock absorber in first, and then clap it onto the disc. Yeah, that might be a better way to go. Yeah, which I just worked out, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you know what to do for the next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Flip at me. I was going to say something else, but... Do you want to do this... Well, yeah, you said leave that off now, so... Yes, step six is, is assembling the steering rack, but there's no point in doing that until we got the other suspension on. Yeah, it's on the screen. Sorry, guys. Right. This is a... Instead of the, sorry, guys. Um... Like that. That's it. That's your basically your finished view. Yeah, which we'll do the coming back to the other steps. But we go, we will reverse our fine step um part twelve. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna do quickly do this and we can um the schedule for next week. Okay. Sorry if the camera's off thing from now. I'll change my camera if you want a sec. Because it just looks blank. That's my leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna change the cameras a second. Uh, sorry about the frustration tonight, guys. I just I was getting off with it like oof. Right. Excellent issue stage for what we've done 13 and 14 instead, because instead of 12. Because I couldn't find the parts this afternoon tonight, like. Um, tomorrow then we've got building version of Ferrari F40 issue 30, helper 7. Um, Wednesday, I think then... he's got that listed for being on Wednesday now. Um, no, he hasn't. That's on Tuesday, see, that's what the schedule's showing. Yeah, I know that's what the schedule's showing, but if you go on to YouTube, it's it's listed for being on Wednesday. He's going to do the Ferrari F40 and the Spitfire on Wednesday, and maybe he's not doing anything tomorrow, because normally he does the uh, Terminator yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah, well, with top of seven anyway tomorrow, but we'll see, wait and see what happens. I'm just going by what it says in here. No. Yeah, so on um, Wednesday... Two o'clock PM, which is um GMT um British Summer Time. We've got the Pink with Demi Show with Penny and Jokes Craft, so Jewel streaming. Um the Demi Show 34. And then for Wednesday evening, which it says on here, and only just going by what it says, um you've got Adrian again, you've got the Parkwork Show, Spitfire 53 and Terminator 104, eight o'clock. And then Thursday, we've got Horlicks. And Friday, we've got Horlicks again. But Thursday, Terminator 100, 100 to 101, the Terminator. And then Spitfire for Horlicks is issue 40 onwards. Um, back to me then on Saturday, which is the Jag issue 34. Probably be more than that. Depends on we go on. But it'd be to do with stream on Chris's as well. I know it doesn't say there, but I can confirm it's on the main. Chris Camping as well channel. Um, then back to nothing Sunday. Back to Monday we got terminate with Chris Camping, which is 103 to 104. But also it'd be on my channel as well because we both do a stream. So that's on Monday eight o'clock. Right then, we have ops for Eagle Squadron on Wednesday and Thursday and yeah. Friday. Yeah. So yeah, so the um, Mondays and Saturdays it's always dual streamed on both channels, on mine and Chris's. Oh, but those are stiff drink now. <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah, this is what we've done tonight. Then I know we didn't do the what I said on the schedule because I couldn't find the part. I just I've had oh. so many deliveries and I just couldn't think where I put it. Well, we'll get it next time. Yeah. Yes, hopefully I can what I'll do for next time. I'll put the shockers over it first for that one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So um yeah, if you draw that free for it, that's good, but that's just a pain in the backside when that was, was not going in. Well, it didn't help that I had you put I didn't see that you put that one part in backwards. That really threw a monkey wrench in everything. Oh, that's right. These things test us. 
Yeah, they sure do sometimes. Yeah. Now to set a valve. Yeah, right. Make sure I put the screwdriver safe now. So what's happening? Let me just see if there's any chat we need to catch up with. Uh, last thing was uh, John's model yeah, making. Yeah, I'll change. Um, let's change my name a sec because uh, put it back to where it was. I think I gotta do it now. Um, do you think I'll Chris change that? That was mad, didn't he? <laughs> you have to get him to change it back, I guess. I will go now in a minute. Hang on. Uh, okay. Um, no idea. It will work out now. Oh, it is. It is changed to mine. Oh, no, it hasn't. Yeah, we will do it now. Hang on. Computers are technology, see? Um, audio, no, I guess. No. I'll have to do it after, after, I think, if I'll be best. I don't know how we've done it, see? Um, check this bit off, see? Hmm. I'm on brand. See if I go to brand in. I don't know, Chris, it's done, guys, and I really, hang on, I might find. I know he's just making a boat. Hang on. Right, I'm going to change the description while I'm here as well, so I can get that done. It's your five stage 13. And 14. See if I just change the names, Bob and the descriptions that Chris has in. I do Chris's as well now. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know what. I'll do off stream, guys. I'll change after because there's some reason I can't do it now. So, sorry. And there is a code. Uh, Mom, sorry, it's quite okay. It's fine. Right. Yeah, no worries. If I'm. I'll change my name after. I do not do it though, but. So, hope it. That was good, wasn't it? It's a little bit yeah. Okay. Yeah, is there anything else we need to say or catch up or? Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show in spite of our difficulties. And yeah. uh, we'll see you again next time. Yeah, guys, I'll um, see you on Saturday with the Jag. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on that, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, take care, guys. Bye-bye.